Hi, everyone. We'll just get started in just a moment. Okay, I think we still have a few more people joining us, but uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome to this afternoon's webinar, Resources for New York City Businesses. For those of you joining us for the first time, Pursuit is a community-focused lender that offers alternative financing and SBA loan programs to small businesses in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Our mission is to provide businesses with affordable loans and resources so that they can reach, hire, and transfer, transform, and grow. My name is Malini Krishna. I work in the Business Advisory Services Group here at Pursuit. Our group is dedicated to working with our community finance borrowers, providing them with consulting services, education programming, and related services to support and sustain their businesses. Today, I'm joined with one of our most trusted partners, the Department of Small Business Services here in New York City. We collaborate with them on a number of initiatives, including fund funding mechanisms such as contract financing, and work in coordination with them for support services for New York City borrowers. From the department, we are joined by Deshaun Mars, Director of Business Outreach, who leads the outreach team's efforts on behalf of the agency to engage with entrepreneurs, business owners, community-based organizations, and chambers of commerce throughout New York City. I've asked him to provide a review of the New York State Public Health Guidelines, as well as share the resources the city has put together in place to support small businesses and to facilitate reopen. Uh, we have, they've worked on a number of initiatives, including the Open Streets Initiative, which has helped restaurants and was just expanded yesterday to the Open Storefront Program. Uh, since we have a lot to cover this afternoon, let me hand it over to Deshaun and thank you so much for sharing your time and telling us about all the ways that New York City businesses can benefit from what the department offers. Thanks. Absolutely. So good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well. So thank you for that introduction and thank you for your partnership. We work with our community organizations, our community development financial institutions, and you are the ones who are on the ground working directly with our business owners. So we very much appreciate the, the partnership between SBS and Pursuit. So good afternoon. I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Deshaun Mars, Director of Business Outreach at the New York City Department of Small Business Services. So I'll give everyone some context and an overview about what we do at the Department of Small Business Services. We do these presentations so much, we're in the community talking about our services, and you won't believe how many people don't know about what we offer at the city in terms of free programs and services for our entrepreneurs and business owners. So I'll go through what we do at SBS. We'll talk about some of the programs that we have available now during COVID-19. We understand it's a very, very difficult time for our businesses and we're rolling out programs left and right and we're doing everything that we can to make sure that our business owners have the support that they need. So I'll talk about all of the programs that we have available and I know we'll do some Q&A and please stop me if you want me to explain a program further. I can talk about SBS all day, so just stop me so we can just talk a little bit more specifically about some of the programs that might be more most helpful for some of your clients. And just so, so our participants know, if you have any questions, there is a chat box enabled. You can certainly ask them there and I'll, I'll pass them along to Deshaun. All right, absolutely. So we'll go ahead and get started. So in the beginning of our presentation, we just like to give people some context about what we do. So if you are unaware of the agency, we are here to unlock economic potential in New York City. So what does that mean? So for anyone who's looking for employment, we have a workforce development center. And for any of your businesses that are actually looking to hire and staff, we actually, you can also work with our workforce career centers to find the talent that you need. So we help facilitate that process between people looking for employment and our businesses that are looking to hire talent so we have workforce development. We also have our neighborhood development division where, we'll work, where we work with community-based organizations, chambers of commerce, business improvement districts. We do technical assistance and we work directly with our organizations that support business owners on the ground. 
So we have a community development division that works directly with those CBOs. And then my division, the division of business services, we are the ones on the ground connecting directly with entrepreneurs and business owners. So I'll talk through some of the specific programs that we have, but I'll be talking about all of the different programs that we have directly available for entrepreneurs and business owners who are looking to start, operate, and grow their business. So our New York City Business Solution Centers. So many of our services that we have available happen through our solution centers. Now, pre-COVID, when we were able to engage in person, these solution centers, we have one, at least one located in every single borough. But as you can see on the screen, these are all of the different services that you can get from the solution centers. There are some other services that people can get access to outside of our solution centers and through the agency, but primarily the work that we have going on happens in the community with our business solution centers. So if you want to take free business courses, beforehand you used to have to go inside the center and take a course at a library or one of our other centers, but now COVID-19, we've done everything remotely. So you can virtually connect with our agency and take many of our business courses online. Anything from how to access financing, how to do a business plan. If you're looking to show up your social media marketing, if you're looking to build a website, we have a number of free business courses that you can take. I'll make sure everyone has the link after the presentation. But if you go on our Eventbrite page, you'll be able to see all of the different courses that we have coming up. But free courses around marketing, strategy, financing, getting your business plan together, number of free business courses that you can take. We also have legal assistance. Now, I know that most of your clients, you know, they're getting funding and you're working directly with them and they're already operating. But if you have anyone who's looking to start their business and they're looking to get their incorporation, they're not quite sure if they should do a, a C Corp, an LLC, a sole proprietorship, we have pro bono legal assistance to actually help you with your certifications and to actually help you get started in terms of what the right certification should be for your business. So we'll help with your business incorporation. If you're looking for financing, we also have financing. And we work very, very closely with Pursuit and other partners to provide capital and financing for our businesses. But we do have financing. We have something called navigating government, which is very, very important. So I work for a city agency, and sometimes I take for granted understanding the mechanisms and how city government works, but it's very convoluted at times. There's so many different city agencies that you may need to interact with. So we have a team that's dedicated to helping you figure out what agencies you need to work with. If you're if you have a storefront and you're working with Department of Health, Sanitation, Department of Buildings, the Fire Department, there's so many different rules and regulations that you need to be aware of as a business owner. So we have a team that's dedicated to helping you kind of navigate how to work with a number of different city agencies. Don't take that for granted because there's a lot of things that you need to know with operating a business in New York City. There are a lot of rules and regulations. So we want to make it as easy as possible for you to really understand how to operate your business safely in New York. Now, the last thing that I'll talk about here is our MWBE certification. So that is our Minority and Women-Owned Business Enterprise Program. And this is for people of color and women owned businesses, we help you sell your services to city government. Now, one thing I'm gonna let everyone know, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret right now. A lot of the services from New York City, we will actually procure and we'll actually purchase them from organizations, businesses, individuals. So everything from consulting services, anyone who does workshops, business development, the uniforms that people wear. Literally, you can almost count everything that the city does. We'll actually purchase that. So the certification program is a really great opportunity for you to expand your business and actually contract and sell your services to the New York City government. 
It's completely free. All you have to do is be in business for at least a year and at least 51% of your business must be owned and operated by a person of color or a woman. Historically, those are the populations that have been left out of growing and expanding their business through government contracting. So this is an opportunity to get on the short list for different contracts. Our different city agencies will have specific goals around procurement and using MWBE businesses. So during COVID, we know it's a very, very tough time right now for people to generate revenue, for people to operate. So this could be another avenue if you're providing essential services, if you're providing services that New York City is really looking for right now, it's a great opportunity to, to contract with New York City to help expand your business. And we like to make sure to tell our borrowers and um, our clients, it's pretty easy to get the MWBE certification. So we highly encourage that because that is one of the preconditions. And there are a lot of, uh, we see a lot of people getting contracts right now. So. Mm -hmm. you know reiterate at that point that's something to really reach out and, and get exactly exactly and a very easy process you can submit all of your documentation online and we actually have a team that can work with you to make sure that you have all of your, your documents but it doesn't end at certification we have a procurement technical assistance center and we'll literally teach you how to partner with different agencies how to network how to figure out what the procurement needs are gonna be from fiscal year to fiscal year. So we have a wonderful program to make sure that you have all the support that you need if you wanna get that certification. Um, and the last plug, you actually be featured on our website. We have a MWBE directory. So that's free marketing. People like MWBE businesses, they like that certification. So that's just another great way for you to, to expand and to market your business a little bit differently. All right. So I'm going to go into some of the specific regulations, but things are changing every single day. People, they come to us saying, hey, can we get some more clarity about what to expect over the next couple of months? When are different guidelines and regulations going to be coming out? And the short answer is we don't know sometimes because things are changing constantly. We're looking at the data, the information, the science to make really informed decisions about when different agencies are gonna be able to open. So if you wanna get the most up-to-date information, you can go on our website, nyc.gov business. That's the city's website. We have a number of different resources on the website to walk you through everything that you need to know to stay in compliance with all the changing rules and regulations. So that's nyc.gov slash business. But then on the New York State's website, we get all of our direction from New York State. They are the ones, the governor and his team, they're the ones that are handing down the regulations across the entire state. So if you want the most up-to-date information as soon as it's available from New York State, you can go to forward.ny.gov. So again, just to explain how this information gets filtered down to the businesses, it comes from New York State first. They're the ones with the safety guidelines and letting us know the regulations. And then it comes down to the different localities and the city. So at forward.ny.gov, New York State's website, get the most up-to-date information. And then nyc.gov slash business, we'll take that information, we'll apply it to our context here in New York City so then you can understand how to operate your business safely. All right. So I'll, I'll breeze through this here, but this is just a, a really quick overview of the different phases of the reopening. We are currently in phase four. The majority of our businesses are able to open and operate now with some exceptions. But again, we're still waiting for more information from the state, from the city, we're looking at the data, the science. We wanna make sure that we can open up safely and carefully because as we've seen with the, some of the red and the yellow zones with having to shut down again with the increase in cases in Brooklyn and Queens, we absolutely do not wanna do that as a city. So it's very important for us that we get this right now 
So we're currently in phase four. There are some industries that still can't operate quite yet. And we're working really, really quickly with our public health partners to try to open up as quickly as possible. But we are currently in phase four and there's still a few industries that, that are yet to open, but we're hoping to get that open very, very quickly. Like I mentioned, we did have an increase in cases in Brooklyn and Queens. So we had our yellow and our red zones. There were some restrictions on how businesses could operate. I won't go through these here specifically, but if you go to nyc.gov slash COVID zone, you'll be able to actually look up your specific business if you're operating in one of these zones and we'll give you an overview of what to expect if you're in a yellow zone, if you're in a red zone, and what some of the restrictions are in terms of you operating. Deshaun, just a, a couple questions from our borrowers. How often is that yeah. updated? Is that updated weekly, monthly, that weekly? Yeah, so these, so that's a very, very good question. These zones came out, I think it's probably about two weeks ago, probably two or three weeks ago. And there was an update recently with moving some previously red zone areas to yellow zone. So as soon as we have that information, that's updated right away. So you know that once you go on the website that that's the most up-to-date information. If there hasn't been any new information in the last month, then whatever we have on the website, that's gonna reflect that. But as soon as we have up-to-date information, then that gets updated immediately on the website. Great, thanks. All right, so let's talk through a couple of our other our other regulations, because I know that there are probably a lot of questions here, and I want to make sure that you know this is as interactive and we're actually getting people the answers that they need. The regulations, very, very simple. There's some specific things that every single business needs to know, but they're boiled down into these five main areas. Physical distancing, very, very important. If you have people in your stores, in your businesses, you have to be maintaining distance between people. PPE, if you are an employer and you have employees, you have to provide free sources of face coverings, PPE for your employees. I have some information about how to partner with New York City in order to get free face coverings, but it's on you as the employer to make sure that your employees have the face coverings and the PPE that they need. And then also just maintaining a clean environment, cleaning constantly, very, very important doing health screenings of your employees before they're coming into the office, also very important. And you have to make sure that your employees understand your commitment to making sure that things are clean and hygienic and they need to know what the safety protocols are for your place of business. So this is very high level. If you go on for.ny.gov, you can click on your specific industry and they'll have guidelines about what to expect for each industry but very, very high level, this is everything that you need to know in order to operate your business safely. Uh, so again, yeah, this is just a quick overview. These are some of the, the, the different phases of the reopening and all of the different types of businesses that are able to open. But just know if anybody has a storefront, a brick and mortar business, that you may get a visit from an inspector. Do not be alarmed. We folks are making sure that people are following the safety guidelines. So just know that there may be some inspectors from multiple agencies that are actually going to your place of business to make sure that you're following all, all of the safety guidelines. Um, all right, so I'm gonna breeze through these because I know that we probably have a lot of questions and, and things to get to, but really quickly, this is the open restaurants program. Open restaurants was a big hit for our restaurants. So you're able to have outdoor seating all throughout the year. Obviously, it's getting a little cold now. So there are some guidelines around heating and structures that you can actually erect in front of your business in order to continue the open dining. But this program will continue for the entire year. We still have some restrictions on indoor dining, but outdoor dining, we're able to continue throughout the entire year. And like Melanie mentioned, we have open storefronts that was just announced yesterday. So you all are some of the first people to know about our open storefronts. But if you're a retail business, 
laundromat, if you sell wares, out, you can start to sell some of your, your merchandise outside. You can conduct, mer you can conduct trans transactions outside. So you're able to start using this space immediately in front of your storefront on the sidewalk. You're, you're able to start using that to conduct your, your business, to display your merchandise, uh, while there's show some restrictions on people doing some indoor indoor shopping. So you can go to nyc.gov slash open storefronts. And there, there is a an application that you can fill out where you self-certify. So that means once you submit the application, you don't have to wait for a city agency to come and inspect. You self-certify. And let and let us know that you're following all the safety guidelines and you're able as soon as you'll get an email immediately saying that you've been approved as long as you affirm that you're following all the different rules and starting tomorrow october 30th you can actually start using the the space in front of your business and that'll be open through the end of the calendar year uh, there may be some changes not quite sure but for right now it's going to be a pilot from october 30th to december 31st and Deshaun, just to, uh, you had told us earlier that there is a whole team in your office that's helping support anyone that needs to apply with this. So if you have any questions, there there are people available in the city that can help you with the compliance and any questions you have about the Open Storefront program. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And we, we have a hotline. I'll give everybody that number. It's on, it's on one of the slides here. I'll give you that number to call our team. But if you have any questions about any of the safety guidelines, anything about your business, the open storefronts program, yes, you are absolutely correct. We do have a team that's supporting our business owners to make sure they understand the rules, but then you know how to apply for these programs. All right, so we're gonna breeze through the rest of this year because we have a lot of programs, a lot of services. So Melanie, please stop me if you want me to explain one of these services in, in more detail. Sure. But during COVID, this is just a quick preview of all the things that we've been doing. We have a reopening hotline. So I'll give you that number in a sec. But we have a reopening hotline. So you can call our staff members if you need to do a consultation or get information about what to expect with any of the rules and regulations. We've been helping people access financing. So both with you know our private lenders, but then also with the Small Business Administration, SBA. We've also been connecting people to financing there. Number of online business courses that you can take. We're providing free PPE and face coverings. And we actually have a supplier directory on our website. So if you need face shields, face masks, hand sanitizer, any other types of PPE, we have a supplier directory to where you can actually see who's providing that PPE and contact them directly to, to source whatever you need. All of this information is on nyc.gov slash business. All right. Lastly, our, so we have virtual compliance consultations. Uh, like Melanie mentioned, we have a team that works with you to help you set your business up, but then we also help you avoid violations. So we have compliance advisors. They provide free consultations to help you avoid violations. We are not a regulatory agency. All we do is help you understand all the different rules and regulations, and we'll point things out that you might get a violation for. We won't issue a ticket. You won't get a fine or violation from us, but we'll say like, hey, Melanie, your business, we'll point these things out. You might get a violation for these three things. So here's how you can actually rectify it and fix the situation before an inspector from a regulatory agency comes in and issues you a real violation and a real fine. So it's a really, really cool program. We're doing our compliance uh, consultations virtually now. So if you go to nyc.gov slash biz consult, you'll be able to sign up for a uh, consultation. And our hotline, 888-SBS4, the number four NYC, that's our hotline number. And I'll make sure everyone gets that information again, but that hotline, you can call us if you have any questions about how to avoid any fines or violations.
Deshaun, there's a quick question. How long does it take to get one of these uh, consultations? Can we get it immediately? Are there hours that you have to call between or any of those things that sort of scheduling time to make sure business owners are um, calling and requesting it in a timely manner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so very, very good question. So the hotline is open from nine to five, Monday to Friday. So we have staff members throughout the week, nine to five that you can call. These compliance consultations used to be in person. So depending on how long it takes us and how many consultations we have scheduled and how long out we've been scheduling, that would impact the time that we'd have to travel to your business. But we're doing things virtually now. So you will be able to get a compliance consultation much, much quicker. It all depends on how many people are calling us, how many staff members we have that are available. So it shouldn't take, it's not gonna take you weeks to get a compliance consultation, but you call us and talk to our folks from a hotline, or once you sign up online, we get back to you immediately to, to schedule something, but it's much, much quicker in terms of us actually getting back in contact with you and scheduling a, a compliance consultation. Uh, in my experience, when we were doing them in person, we could get you in there as, as quickly as three or four days. So it should be a lot quicker since we're doing things virtually now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, so let me just talk through a couple of, uh, quick programs here. So again, our PPE supplier directory, if you go to nyc.gov slash business, you'll be able to look for our directory if, you're, if you need PPE. We've also been working with our local chambers of commerce, our business improvement districts, and we've been facilitating dropping off masks to all of our community partners. So you'll see a map and all the organizations that we're working with if you need PPE. So we can provide that, you can get that for free, limited quantity and a limited number, but we do have free face coverings that we are offering through our different community partners. Um, and in financial assistance, I mean, you all provide financing, but we also have financing that we provide at the agency. You can go to nyc.gov slash financing assistance if you wanna to talk to one of our advisors, but we do help uh, connect people to financing as well. And Pursuit is one of our trusted partners that we work very, very closely with. Our commercial lease program, very, very important. This program, we started a couple of years ago and we understand that rent is sky high in New York City, Sometimes it's really difficult to negotiate with your landlord or to figure out, figure out what your rights are as a tenant. So we are providing, if, if you need support signing a new lease, renegotiating, terminating a lease, amending a lease, reviewing your lease, we have lawyers that can work with you pro bono, no cost, to help you figure out what is actually in your lease and what your rights are as a tenant. We've been working with folks to try to renegotiate with their landlords now during this time. We know it's very, very, there's a moratorium on evictions at the moment, but some landlords have been a little bit more lenient than others in terms of renegotiating leases, figuring out other payment terms. So what we're doing here with our program, we wanna make sure that you at least understand what your rights are. So if you go to nyc.gov slash com lease, you can get in contact with one of our lawyers at no cost to help you talk about and think through your options during this very difficult time. Uh, again, yep. Oh, just and then one, I mentioned we have. Yeah, just one quick question, Deshaun. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for is, sure. Is there any, I, I don't know the answer to this, is there any guidance on um, how long the moratorium is going to last or any of those things that you know of? I don't think we know the answer to that, but. No, we, we don't. We don't. I, I think, don't quote me, but I think it's January 1st when the moratorium is lifted. That's all the information that I have right now. I know that the, the legislature, city council, I know there are a lot of our elected officials that are talking through and trying to figure out what the moratorium means, when does it need to end, what type of other support we can provide our, our, our business owners. But for right now, what we're providing is access to free lawyers so you can figure out what's the best way for you to, to figure out what's happening with your commercial lease. Because it's a difficult time for folks who've been closed for a number of months. You still have your rent, your employees, your insurance, 
all of that overhead that you're still responsible for. So we have these lawyers at no cost to try to help you figure out what can you do? How can you work with your landlord? What are some of the best options for support here? So that's the best that we're doing right now. But I do know that there are a lot of conversations happening about what to do about the moratorium. And we've encouraged a lot of our borrowers to come to this program uh, even before their lease term is up, because the more runway time you have between that, the more space and time we can't that the city can work with you on renegotiation. So just exactly that one. Exactly. Exactly. No. Yeah. That, no. That's that's such a great point. Um, all right. So I mentioned this before. We have online business courses to help you build your website. To how do you create content and value for your customers? These are some things now. We're doing everything virtually, so it may be a little bit easier to attend one of these business courses, but we have a number of business courses to try to help you figure out how you can still generate revenue during this time. If you're thinking about pivoting and how to increase your sales, we have some business courses that you can that you can take. So if you go to NYC small biz courses .eventbrite.com, you'll see every single one of our courses that the agency is hosting right now. But this could be a good opportunity to retool and just figure out, are there some other things that you might be able to try now during this time? We know that there are restrictions on the number of people that can be inside your business. There are some industries that, are, that haven't been able to operate yet. Some folks are figuring out how they can start operating online. So this is a great opportunity to start thinking about how to pivot and generate other sources of revenue. And as an agency, we're committed to helping people figure out during this downturn, when there's so much uncertainty, what are some things that we can start doing to help prepare you so you're prepared for once we do open back up, we want to make sure that our businesses are supported and can get to the other side of this in a healthy place. And this is an area where we collaborate a lot. Even our website has a lot of resources, both for New York City borrowers, but um, uh, throughout our pursuit portfolio, and we do link to some of the SBS services. So um, also take a look at our COVID resource guide and pursuitlending.com as well. So both of them can work together depending on where you are. All right, awesome. Um, and then we, so employee support, we know it's a very difficult time right now for our employees, for our business owners. We're dealing with a the pandemic. The, there's so much that's happening right now. So if anyone needs any mental health resources, we have a number of support programs that are available through the city. If you, your employees, or anyone that you know is going through a tough time right now, we want to make sure that everybody gets the support that they need. There are also a lot of rules around safe and sick leave. So if you go to nyc.gov slash paid sick leave, this is ever more important now, understanding these rules because of COVID. So we work with a number of our different agencies to provide up-to-date information about paid sick leave laws. You do need to, there, there are a lot of different rules around how big your business is, how many employees you have, how much time you need to give people, do they qualify for paid sick leave? So all of that information and more, you can get on our website, nyc.gov slash paid sick leave. So I think that's mostly, yeah, so that's mostly it for the formal presentation. Uh, we tell people, make sure you're aware of scams. This People have been emailing me, calling me, asking me for my social security number. I'm like, do not give your personal information because there are people out there that are trying to take advantage of this, of this time. People are doing business online now, so it's ripe territory for people to try to scam and take your personal information. So we just let people know, be aware of any scams that are, that are happening. And lastly, our hotline, again, 888-SBS, the number 4NYC, 888-SBS-4NYC. You can give us a call. We have staff members there from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, ready to answer your calls and answer and talk through anything that's on your mind. And you can also email us at covid19biz at sbs.nyc.gov. So those are all the resources. Happy to talk about anything more, but that's it for the formal presentation about what we do. Great, we just have a few questions. If you could talk a little bit more about 
the um, procurement technical assistance for um, MWBEs. Um, what is, how long is that and what can that help with? And, and if they are in the middle of bidding for a contract, can they use this? So very, very good questions. If you're in the middle of a contract and you're currently certified, MWBE certified, you can get access to our procurement technical assistance program. Uh, I'm going to, but before we, we finish here, I'm going to, I'm going to look online for the actual website and the email address for the procurement technical assistance program. So you can get that support. But basically what it looks like is if you're NWBE certified, we have a, an entire team that's dedicated to helping you figure out what agencies you can work with, how you can market your services better. And then as they're going through the bidding process, what does it mean to have a very successful bid? Our technical assistance team, we have a number of different workshops that you can take around selling to government. And we have people that you can also work with individually to figure out what your needs are and what services you're providing. So depending on how many services you're looking for, our team can, can help support you. But we do have free classes. And as soon as you're MWBE certified, you can get access to our Procurement Technical Assistance Center. And I know we have a, a few more questions, but I'm gonna make sure I find out this information. I'll put it, I'll put it in the chat uh, so, so you can send that out and make sure people have access to it. Great, and just while you're doing that, um, we just highly encourage our NWBE um, folks to really look into this program. A lot of people uh, have talked to me about, you know, is uh, what is your capacity for a huge contract? Not every New York City contract is multi-millions of dollars, so this can be a good place to start and, and can even grow your business this way. It's a strong source of revenues. Um, and uh, there are uh, funding programs that in connection with the city for both MWBEs and people who do get New York City contracts. So we would really encourage people to do that. Um, great, um, and I think you just provided that. The question is, um, where, was, where can we find all those small business classes? And I think you have that Small Biz Eventbrite page. Yes, let me, yeah, I will go ahead and I'll put that in, in, the, in the chat as well. Great, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, and can we take advantage of them even if we don't live in New York City? That's a good question. Ah, very, very good question. So the, so the majority of our programs and services are for folks who live in New York City, but if you're currently outside of New York City, you can get access to some of our online courses but we do have a number of different questions that you do need to answer to either verify your eligibility for a certain course. But the majority of our services are for folks who are in New York City, but we have a number of free business courses that a number of people can, can get access to. And this is important to sort of say, like you guys also are still working with the SBDC small and your small business centers and chambers of commerce for things like if you want to write a new business plan, if you're a startup or any of those things. So those things are still all active right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Um, this one's kind of a tough one. Um, if uh, Can the lawyers in the, I guess, in that commercial lease program, uh, lease assistance program, help with disputes between landlords? Ah, that's a, that's a very, very good question. And so we, we won't, we, we don't represent clients in court, but everything up to you going to court or having any litigation, then we can support you. But if you need support in terms of figuring out how to negotiate, or if there is a dispute, how are, what are some different ways for you to tackle that, then we do support there. But I, I would have to get some more clarity on if we can actually represent you as you're sitting down next to your landlord trying to figure out an actual dispute. I don't think so. But if you go to our website, you know, nyc.gov slash com lease, you'll be able to see specifically what we're able to do. Once you submit your information to us, then you can talk to one of our, our pro bono lawyers and then you can talk about your specific situation to see what type of services we can provide. Okay, I'm just mindful of time, but I, this seems like a good place to end. There was a, a question, can we remind her of the city specific emergency funding programs? And I'll just put a little uh, shout out here that um, Pursuit is actively lending at this time. We are also one of the lenders in the New York Forward Loan Program. So if you did not receive EIDL funds, this is a great program to um, 
from the state that we can help with, but, um, and then I'll let Deshaun end with um, any city specific. That was the question to remind people about that or can mm -hmm. we? Yeah, so yeah, another great question. So the city, we did have a grant and a loan program early on in, in the crisis that we did roll out that is currently closed, but we are working individually with business owners to connect them to federal sources of funding, there are a number of private sources of funding that we're also connecting people to. So we're helping with that. But in terms of city specific grant and loan programs, we currently do not have any at the city, but we are connecting you to organizations and other places that are providing that type of funding. Great. And you'll keep us updated as you get more information. Um, this seems like a great place to end. I'm mindful of your time. I, I know that there are still some questions here and, and pressing concerns, and I would highly encourage you to reach out to your um, uh, pursuit representative. We have many conversations with Deshaun and his team, and we can continue to have these conversations. But I wanna say thank you so much for your time today and for sharing all of these resources. I know it will be a great benefit for a lot of folks on this call and the folks who were uh, told me they couldn't attend and will be listening to the recording. Um, and we would highly encourage you to call and, and reach out to both us and the city. Uh, there are a lot of things that we have in place to make sure that your small business succeeds. So thank you, Sean. All right, awesome. No, thank you. Thank you for, for having me. Really appreciate it. Great, thanks everyone. Have a good day.